Very good to see you again. This week, up to a million families around the country got a letter through their door. What did that letter say? Start getting them, and it's saying that you could lose your child benefits starting from the new year. Now, to save the government over a billion pounds a year, they say families with one parent earning over fifty thousand pounds a year could see their benefits reduced or removed altogether. It could hit a lot of families very hard, particularly those who depend on one wage earner in the house. Today we're going to talk about this. We've got two case studies here, two single mums who have uh, very different but very firm views in all of this on the uh, solution. Uh, we've got Sonia Poulton and Sally Hughes. Very good to see uh, both of you. Morning. Incidentally, you can get involved too. Uh, show us who you agree with, Sonia or Sally, by logging on and using the worm at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. So let's start off. Um, you're both single mums, mm -hmm. so you both receive child benefit. Uh, you have one child, I think, I do. Uh, Sonia, and Sally, you have two. Yes. So let's start with you, Sally, because you are going to be mm -hmm. affected by this. You say you earn just over this £50,000 threshold. Yes, so the idea is that if you're over 50000 you lose some child benefit. If you earn over 60000 you lose all of it. Right. That's so you're mm -hmm. on the lose some of it. Yes. You don't know how much. No. So how much do you rely on this? Because a lot of people watching, you know, are going to say, £50,000, crikey, if you can't live on that, you know, what are you doing wrong? Absolutely. There are many, many, many people worse <coughs> off than me. However, I would have been under the threshold a year ago when my marriage ended. But because my marriage has ended, I've been working more hours than is healthy or moral in order to earn more for my family. As a result of that, I mean, to try and keep their lives going, as a result of that, um, I'm losing probably most of my child benefit. And how much do you rely on that benefit? If I may um, ask what you use it for? Do... Groceries, mm. um, school uniforms, all sorts of things. The things that, that it's intended for, raising your family. Yeah, I mean this sort of um, kind of Tory assumption that you know we're out buying frocks and organic boxes with it, you know, it, it's not the case. If your marriage ends, um, you find yourself in a financial pickle. And the thing about this policy, it, the really maddening thing about this policy is it's completely, it's a nightmare to administer. It's full of flaws and inequality. So for example, if I was still with my husband and we both earned £49,000 a year, I £98,000 a year between us, we'd still get all our child benefit. I earn a little bit over the threshold and I will lose it because I'm no longer married. That does so seem you would have to accept, Sonia, that yeah. is stupid. I'd be lying if I said I don't have some sympathy with Sally and other people in that situation, because I do. But the truth is, is that the government are talking about this so-called deficit. And I say so-called because there's many people who dispute that we've even got it in the first place. But the fact is, no, is, is, is that... No. Well, I, I do, but, but that's another story. That's a complete aside. But the fact is, is that they're saying that we have to get it from somewhere and we're all in it together. Well, at this moment in time, they started right at the bottom they have kicked 12 bells out of the most vulnerable the the, the poorest that we've got well, she's not too high up the ladder no, no, is she not. they've no, also not. just given tax breaks no, to people not. who earn over 150,000 so we're not all in it I, I'm not, I'm not talking about that just wait a second I didn't really what? listen to you no I listened to you I listened to what you had to say so give me a chance now so the point is is that the government started right from the bottom they kicked 12 bells out of the disabled the sick and now they're working their way up I don't actually agree with this I think that what we should do is we should go after the real high right. earners so actually but... you two you two could be in close agreement on this. What you're saying is, We're let's not go after. Sally might think. No, well, let's not go after people like Sally, but let's go after if people are earning a hundred thousand pounds plus, maybe. Yes. Now that I would. Uh, that, now that's what I want to do. But no, the point is, no, you still don't you? agree with that. Yes, there are the people who earn over one hundred and fifty thousand pounds have just been given a tax break. The super wealthy yes. are being given tax but breaks. Big businesses are not yes, paying but their taxes. Yes, you're not in agreement then on that. We are in agreement. Yes, my point is with the lack of equality in the whole thing. It's completely unequal, and it's also going to cost hundreds of millions to administer. Let us not forget that the average wage is between fifty oh, and thirty thousand. You're not calling her rich, are no, you? No, 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 I'm not calling but her rich. But the politicians no, no, no. would call you rich, wouldn't they? But, 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 well, yes, apparently. But the politicians so. are a bunch of millionaires on the front benches they have no idea we shouldn't have given them the public purse in the first place what we actually need is people who know what it means to have some only five pound to last till payday that's what you actually okay. need what does it mean? Mean? but then that's that sally's saying that can be the case you know you have a mortgage to pay yep. if you live in the south yep. east you live in london and property prices are huge here yes the so traveling cost to work fifty thousand sounds an awful lot of money to a lot of people but in this area where you live and your living costs that isn't a lot of money and she will be 
struggling. I know with that. people who have to travel to London because it's the only job they can do and the only vacancy they could get who are paying up to £400 a month in travel. There is no way that that's an insignificant amount of money to anyone, to be fair. And the way this is administered is not a leading economist in the country believes this is going to work. Half the Tory party don't believe this is going to work. It's so going to cost a, hundreds of millions is, of pounds. Is this a sort of fudge of a coalition government? Is this what's happening? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, George Osborne, when he brought it up at conference in 2010, even he didn't think he was going to have to go through with it. Now they're going ahead with it. Half the party don't even think it's going to work. It's so impossible to administer. They're going to ask hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people to fill out a tax return for the first time. That in itself is a nightmare. Sonia. What needs to take place, really quite seriously, is, is the people in this income bracket, they need to actually rise up with the people who have been fighting against the coalition for these very cuts. A lot of those cuts are not necessary. We are, mm. It's a spin, it's an absolute lie. I get the, the figures. I get the figures just as any other journalist does. And a lot, and, you know, all those ministers, they stand out there grailing and ids and all of them and David Cameron and they, they, they tell mm. us all manner of no, things. So I the think truth that's is, a very interesting proposal that she's put forward there. I'm you have more in common with, with a lot of the public sector workers, whatever, who are out yeah. there marching yeah. than, you may, yeah. than you may think. I, I totally do. I've never been in favour of the coalition. The idea that I'm suddenly anti-Tory because I'm having my child benefit taken away is ludicrous. I didn't vote for them, I didn't want them, but I've got them. The and coalition? Yeah, and I'm prepared. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want the Tory party, I didn't want the coalition. Goodness, no. I'm prepared absolutely to do my part. Every right-thinking person in this country is prepared to do mm -hmm. their part, as long as it's equal, as long as we are all in it together, because we are simply not at the moment. We're not all in it together, and, it, and it's a lie to imagine that we are, because the truth is, is that uh, Sally is right, I do agree with her, £50,000 when you're a single parent, two children, travel, all the expenses, it's ridiculous, but the discussion here obviously is would you do that, and I'm saying that if we're going to take from that benefit pot, mm -hmm. which is what they, they will do because Tories always take from the benefit pot, if we're going to take from the benefit pot, then let's take from the top of it, but I'll tell you somebody else we need, some area, but they're calling her, she is the top I'm of it, yes, the top of no, what? but I'll tell you something else as well, winter payments for elderly people who don't even want it, they give, they give it to you know elderly mm -hmm. um, charities, so we really have to think about it what we need above anything else is people who actually know how people like Sally and I are surviving on the ground and I David Cameron your doesn't. point on the one hand you think I'm rich and on the no, other I, hand you're I saying my said, life is I never, terribly I never, hard. I never ever said you were rich. I I'm never, somewhere in the rich. middle you know no, I'm not the I'm poorest saying, of the poor my life's is not that, hell. Is, is somebody well, on 50,000 pounds is certainly not poor. I know people surviving on 70 pounds a week trust me. 59 percent of people are agreeing with you that's because I suppose a lot of people will look and they'll say they're not as well off as you, however, Absolutely. however well off or not you believe yourself to be. I mean, that is it. And what politicians have done now is set people against they, each yes, other. against each other. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm, I'm aware of that. Yeah. I'm totally aware of that. Well, I think but, a lot of our that is the nature of these kind of debates, okay. really. The a lot truth of is, we need to turn on them. Instead yeah. of turning on each other, Final we need to turn word, on Sally. Them. I completely understand that £50,000 is a fortune to lots of people. All I ask is that everyone pays a fair amount and suffers cuts in a similar way. Right. And the rich people are not suffering from cuts at all. They're Indeed. benefiting and from And let's them. stop kicking well, let's, the sick and um, disabled. Yeah, and let's go over to the hub uh, and find out what our viewers think about this this morning. I'm sure you're getting a lot of reactions, Stephen. Well, let me tell you just so many comments about the benefit capping. Amy Godfrey, good morning to you. She says, I think this is perfectly acceptable. Everyone has to tighten their belts. Kev Charles-Jones, why should people who earn over £50,000 get child benefit? They clearly earn enough money. Um, it's simple. If you can't afford it, don't have children. That's what he thinks. And uh, we're going to finish for now on Faye. She says this really winds me up. Once again, those who are working lose out. Whether they need it or not should not be the issue. You work hard, you get nothing, you don't work, and it gets handed out on a plate. Please keep all your comments coming in. We'll be back in a hub later. You know, obviously, people don't necessarily have to agree with those comments, but um, Sonia nearly choked on the one which said, basically asked, why are we, and it seems a lot of people say sensible <laughs> question, why is the government paying people to have children? Why isn't there a certain amount of financial responsibility? Of course, you have to have a financial responsibility. I have one child because I can afford one child, so I definitely take responsibility. But let us not forget, David Cameron likes to go on about something for nothing culture. Well, I'm not the one riding around in cars okay. that, that taxpayers are paying for. So, you know, okay. we just have to look well, at it. Well, we can't in a offer way. you something for nothing, but we can offer you the next best thing. Here's the competition.